So, gotcha. Boom. Ha, it worked, I think. Yeah, it worked. So, you can see my screen, and they can see your screen. Yeah, I think that works. So, uh, we could start because when they come later, then they can come back and see this. Can I turn so. my uh, screen sideways so you can see me better? Awesome. So, what is the first lesson, Teacher Angel? <clears throat> I don't know if I should like show off the letters or talk about pronunciation. There's so much to talk about. I just realized I don't know how a single symbol looks, so how am them? I have a paper full of all of them. Well, good for you. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do anymore. You're supposed to be like animating something. Oh yeah, I'm totally. I'm gonna edit it and go back and draw all the symbols, <laughs> and then just cover up whatever you show them, <laughs> because I know what I think. So, first lesson. Let's go. I guess we won't need to the letters. There's consonants and vowels, kind of like how they're in English, but there's a lot more. Like a lot more. Whoa. Well, it's not focused, so we can't see it anyway. Ha! So I have a reason to draw. Now teach me so I can know what to draw. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna do that. Fine! I don't know how to, like, how I should show the letters, because if they're not showing, then I can't really... Then, um... Um... I'll just, I'll Google everything real quick, and then put it up there. I can send them on Discord. I think. Oh, okay, fine. So the first letter I have on the list so, is like a mix between a G and a K. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go through that. The second one is basically an N. Oh, okay. We're just gonna do this. Yep. <laughs> The next one is kind of like a mix of Wait, should I be sharing my screen? Yeah, I should share my screen. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so the world can see these symbols. Okay, so the first one's basically a mix between a G and a K. The second one's an N, or pretty much an N. And then the second yeah, these are the symbols, guys. The third one's basically a D, but it can sometimes sound like He's about D. to type out the alphabet. <laughs> That one's like a mix between an R and an L, but can also kind of sound like a D in a way. It looks like an S. It's a weird letter. It's like a mix between an R and L and a D. Okay, it's, then. This one's basically an M. What? Yeah. This one's a, so, it's like a mix between a B and a P. Can you type it in ABC order? That's not really a thing. I mean, I, I know the first part. I know how to. Kind There's of English. A There's English A B C order. <laughs> the way people. I don't. Okay, so continue there, on with it. I'm just gonna keep going how I have it on this list. So this one is an S. Ooh, this is my favorite one. <laughs> this one is a J. Uh huh. That one is an H. Um. Where's the A? The A? I haven't gotten to A. I'm going through consonants first. It is what it is. Yeah. Wait. The, latest, the one maybe? I just had is an H. Like maybe you should just uh um uh, yeah. I mean, do what you're doing. Okay. This. This next one, which looks like an oval, it's very strange. So it's for when you're putting, if you put a vowel and there's no consonant first, you can use this and it just stays silent. Or if it's at like a, a e i o u and sometimes y and w. Yeah. But if it's <laughs> after, if it's like after a vowel or something like that, or yeah, if it's after a vowel, then it's like an ng sound. 
basically what you're saying is that if it's a uh, if it's a word and it doesn't have a single consonant in it, you use that. Or if it's a word and it okay, does so have a word consonant. structure is weird. Okay, so you, I'm just gonna. Well, you should probably teach us the structure first. If you wanna have like make the sound ass, then you, without anything else, then you can put that before the a. But if you need to put it after something, I'm never then... even gonna be able to type my whole name. Okay, then. You can put it at the end, and it makes an NG sound. Oh, wow. Now, some of these letters, or some of the consonants, have, like, a double version. So, like, there's that one, which is more of a strong K. That one's more of a T. That one usually goes at the end of stuff and doesn't make a sound, even though it can. That one's just double J, and then that one, which is mostly P. Oh, come on, I'm trying to make a face. It's not working. This letter is a P. And this one is a T. Oh, and this one's like a CH sound. There's like three different K kind of sounds. There we go. Oh, nice. Three point one four one four one six one nine nine nine. I don't know the actual thing, but I only know three point one four. Cause I'm smart. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move on to vowels now because I went through all the consonants. Did you say avocado? I said cons- I said we're gonna move on <laughs> to the vowels because we finished all the consonants. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, so the first one's I, which usually makes E sound. Oh, come on, speak for yourself. And then the next one's A, which usually makes just an A sound. This next one's weird. It's When it's written in English letters, it's usually E-O, but it usually makes like an O sound or like an U. Uh. This next one's another weird one. When written with English letters, it's E, and it usually just makes the E sound. Then we have O. We should just, like, do one video for each letter. (laughs) Then I could fill up my channel with videos. And then that one is written as A-E in English letters, and usually just makes an A sound. And then that one's written as an E in English letters. And it's usually just an F. And then there's ver- another a second version of all of these that has a Y in front of them, so it's just like, yeah, yeah, yo. Wait. Oh my gosh, I saw something amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Now we can move on to structures of syllables. Wow, I have never been able to. So. That's just. That's amazing. I found my favorite one. It's like a cartoon thingy. Wait, that's when that, that, that person was trying to get her kid taken away, but she was trying to um, make a living. Wait a minute, I just thought about something. What are you doing? Uh, well, I thought you were gonna send something. So. I wasn't. I'm not even typing. Oh, okay. So <laughs> usually each syllable can have three letters. It can sometimes be two. Sometimes it can even be four. I'm better at Japanese and Chinese. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, oh, hi, you Gozaizamu to all of those viewers out there. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what that means. That's Japanese. Oh, yeah, someone, someone's bound to understand it. Hopefully. But I don't want to confuse our people watching this, so please continue. 
So now we can move on to phrases because I went through basically the basics. So I have a question for you. Some people may be thinking it, some people may not. But basically, it's like all these are letters, right? Yes. And you just put them together to make words like normal words, right? Or do, do you have to put them together a different way? It depends on the letter. Wait, are you talking about like those three structures I just showed you? Uh, yeah. They have to go that way. You can't really write them any other way. So, but like, can you just spell out words with letters? Like, what do you mean? Like, could you just take one um consonant, put it with like a few others, and that and that would make a word instead of like. Are you saying like do that? Or are you saying how do you like, make words? Like how do you make okay. words? Well, you get. Okay, I'll just give you some. Usually, stop. <laughs> I'm stuttering so much. I don't use the word stutter. It's weird. You put. You'll have multiple of these. Like, say you're gonna say hi. This. Yeah. That's high. No. <laughs> Put them together. I'm stupid. You're just going back, like deleting the messages, then coming and putting them together. That's what? That's high. Yeah, that's high. What? How is it so much longer than those two? What? <laughs> uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I, d I just can't. I can't even. Can I like make a chart with all the letters so you can read it? Yeah. Okay. Because if you don't, I'm gonna say sayonara. And then I'm gonna pin it to our chat. You know, um, sayonara is actually Japanese. I don't know why yeah, I put it. I don't even know it in Korean. Like I only know I'm bored. That's it. You know I'm bored. Yeah, that's you don't it. even know how to say it though, do you? Nope. <laughs> Jude Hale or not in Jude Hale. Don't mess yourself up. I don't know what I should talk about while I'm writing this. Fine. It's gonna take a little bit. Do we need elevator music? When I edit this, I'm putting that in. Oh, okay. Like, right about now. We can, like, time lapse it. Or just, like, skip to what I'm done. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. I mean, I, actually, nah. Because the people who are live watching it, they're going to have to sit through this. So, you're going to have to sit through this, too. Okay. I don't know what I should talk about while I'm writing all this, though. Like, I feel like I should be talking about something, but I don't know what. Yeah, talk about it then. Oh, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> we should, like, I, I just want to do a bunch of collabs with every, all my friends who are YouTubers. Just put them all into one live chat and let them meet each other. I just want to see how that goes. I'm going to live stream it, and then people don't like it. I'm just going to keep it up there anyway. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Come on, Angel. You can do it. You're almost finished. No, I'm not. I have four things. Okay. So. Did you do it? I do what? Did you finish typing? I mean, there's a lot of letters here. I'm gonna make like a whole chart so we can just pin that. Then just what you gotta do? You gotta go to some website and do it and copy and paste it instead of typing it. But it, I didn't get it. I wrote it. Well, I know you didn't get it from a website. That's why you're typing it now. But you should go find it on a website and then copy and paste it because I feel like that would take a shorter time than this. <clears throat> what do you just give me some random phrases and if I know them I'll tell you what they are. Okay, uh uh don't catch chickens before they hatch. 
Why would I have that? Don't count your subscribers before they unsubscribe. Here, I'll talk about sentence structure because it's weird. It's like almost the reverse version of English because English sentence structure would usually go like a subject, verb, and object. Yeah, and when I say the word really over and over again, eventually it starts to sound like gibberish, and I'm like, oh my gosh, our language is a lie! <laughs> but with Korean sentences, it goes subject, object, verb, with the verb going last. Just like with Spanish. I mean, I mean, English copied, like, everything from different languages, but they didn't even copy the structures. Because... Uh... You can't really interrupt the person when they're speaking in Korean because you gotta listen for when they say till the end for the verb, so you know if it's like past tense or future tense. Yeah, that's what, that's how it's like in Spanish because they put the uh the descriptions after the word, so you have to like patiently think. So that's why it takes me longer to respond to people in Spanish since I'm not a native speaker because I gotta wait till they're done. Then I gotta go back and think about what they actually said. <laughs> so, after this, we're gonna do one on Spanish, because if I'm learning some Korean, you're learning some Spanish. I don't care if you know hola amigo, either. I mean, because it would be hola amiga, but would you know that? No. Okay, then. <laughs> Give me I some think, normal phrases. I think I know what I'll do. Like, I'll just let me just like look somewhere for something. Um, if someone like, <clears throat> I guess see something. So, are you done typing yet? Like, I'm doing something else and just waiting until you're done typing. Because that's easier. <laughs> if your own number calls you, don't pick up and call the police. Clickbait! The bread that hates mustard. Annoying orange, Google Alex Siri. What? That's so weird. Google Alex Siri. What? Why? <laughs> wow. Ooh, I should just. I should draw. Until I. Until I do this. <sighs> Did you hear that? Nope. Wait, did you hear that? No, I just hear a lot of talking in the background. Yeah, that's like... Yeah. I can't tell what it's saying. I'm doing some HTML. Oh yeah, you know I'm doing it. Because that's cool. <sighs> okay. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Good.
This will help them sit here until you're done. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. There you go. Okay, now you're done? Yes. <laughs> you finish right when I get the elevator music. Uh, I'm so heartbroken. Uh, here's the vowels, guys. A, E, I, O, U, and some. You forgot Y and W! I mean, I know they're not usually vowels, but still, sometimes they are. Y and W aren't in the Korean alphabet. The only time Y appears is in the vowels after. Well, just put Y anyway. No, there's no letter for that. Fine. Each vowel also has a second form that has a Y at the beginning. Oh, and the letter have a second. It's and the letter has a second line. Oh, cool. These look like in piano the repeat signs you use. Oh, I mean just in just in general. So, do we need elevator music again? Is this gonna take a while? What do you mean? Oh my. God. Is this going to take a while? Do we need more elevator music? What's going to take a while? I'm not like, anything. you typing. I'm not typing anymore. Not anymore? Okay, so what now? You got to teach him how to make a sentence. The thing is, I haven't really experimented. Okay, so I have a whole page of So. so I have. Oh, you know. You can go back to the uh the camera and show them your notebook. You can write it like really big on a piece of paper and show them how to make a sentence. I can just do this. Huh? That's what I have. My notebook. Okay. That's a decorative baseball. So the object comes before the verb. I already said that. So I have an example of what a sentence would look like if uh, it were an, a Korean sentence would look like if it was in English right uh, here. If you if you were gonna say yes, yesterday I walked. To, yes, I don't remember what the the original sentence was, but if you wanted to say something like this, that's how it would look like in. Uh, that's basically how the Korean sentence structure is, except. It would be in Korean. I eat snacks. Wow. I snack. Such, <laughs> such amazing. I know, right? Uh, sentence. I mean, that's the best sentence. How you say it in Korean, though? How you say it in Korean, though? The video I watched about this didn't say it in Korean. I can't hear you over your brother's crying. Alex. You know what he Stop. sounds like. He sounds like a fire alarm. He sounds Aja, like a fire truck. Aja, I think you're learning more than the viewers are learning. What? I think you're learning more than the viewers are. Oh. Well, oh, who cares? Location's also, like, go in the same spot as, like, an object would. And adverbs have to be directly before the verb. Adjectives work the same, though, as they do in English. Get off of there, Dumb. I also have this, which I have this app to talk to people who are learning English, but they're native to Korean, and it's supposed to help like, people learn languages. I took some of the phrases from what we said, and I translated them, and each, what, what each word is. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Is it focusing for you? I mean, I know, like, I know exactly. Uh, I know. Oh, wait, hold on. Why English to learn to determine? Why? The highlighted, the darker highlighted. Or oh, like read the, the highlighted. highlighted. Okay, that, I'll read the highlighted. that main part that's all highlighted together is. The oh, wow, I and then, decided to learn English. Oh. Yeah, and then each little word is what it was in, written in Korean, and then each little little highlighted one is each of those words translated. 
Oh, how do you say it in Korean? I'm not going to read that one because that one's probably going to be really hard to read because there's so much. That's okay. going to practice on reading it. Because um, since you're still learning anyway, I'm not going to challenge you. This one will be easy to say, I'm pretty sure. I envy you. Why, why would you say that? She said, she said that because I asked her if she had any pets and she said she did. Oh! <laughs> can't hear you. So I asked her if she had any pets and she said she had a hamster at one point but it died and I was like, oh, I have cat. I have a few cats and she's like, I envy you. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So that would be my name, Maddie. How do you say I understand? Like, it's right there. we should go through the pronunciation of each letter in the alphabet. <gasps> That's a great idea. You know what? That's a great idea. We should make an organized, beautiful video with the beautiful font and stuff. Focus. And it's I'm happy now. How to pronounce each letter of the alphabet <laughs> in Korean. <laughs> Oh, I should just, you know how I can get thousands of views? You hmm. guys say, you guys say, how to read the alphabet for kids. M moms will go crazy and be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to see my kid with this, this, this. Oh, okay, wait. What do you want me to do now? I don't know. I have plenty of pages, which is just different phrases and stuff. Well, so maybe we now. should, like, we should end the live stream and then think and then come back. I have emotions. Because we... Huh? I have emotions. Okay. This is that I couldn't remember what, like, which one it was that you had said. And then I went on this page because, like, I recognized that. And then I got on here and I saw that. I was like, ah, oh, she's bored. Yeah. So. Take it all in. <laughs> wow. Amazing. You should uh, go through each one of them. Like, just I zoom in on each busy. one. Busy. I think saying you're busy would probably be the easiest one to say. Because it's just papayo. But how do you pronounce it? Saying you're busy would just be like, nan and papayo. Uh huh. Which is probably the easiest one to say. I have a voice that I feel like would be good to use in speaking a different Saying language. Saying you're happy would be, it's not that hard. I think the easiest one to say would probably be saying you're bored, you're sad, and you're busy. Or oh, come on. The only one I, the only full sentence I know you're saying is the easiest to say. You're so mean. It is, because it's just Judah Hale. Judah Hale. None in Judah Hale. It's very simple. Okay, well, how you say shut up? How you say shut up? I see it up there. How you say it? It's Dakcho. Wait, what? Dakcho. Dakcho? No, Dakcho. Do I need to write it in my Gemini form? Dakcho! No. Let me get on Discord and I'll write it for you so you can see it. Okay, thank you so much because I'm not doing a very good job at this. Uh... Dactyl? This is how you... How, I'm writing how to pronounce it. Dactyl? There you go. Oh, I was yeah. right! Dactyl! There Dactyl. you go. Congratulations, you said it. Dactyl. No, no. You. Dactyl. Me or the viewers? <laughs> no, I wasn't talking to the viewers. I, was, I love you, viewers. Please, please subscribe Dactyl. to me. Dactyl. I have a cat joining me. Cat also wants to learn Korean. <laughs> Harley, do you want to work here? Yes, that's totally a yes. Looking away means yes. <laughs> she's intrigued. Yes, she's so Whatever focused. <laughs> She is actually Wait, very in focus. We should just do a stream about our cats. <laughs> okay, what off of this would you like to know how to say? None. All I needed to know is for Dr. Joe. 
That's all oh, I need okay. to know. Deck <laughs> Joe's life. I have colors. Oh, well, let me find them. I found them. No, there's also three different ways to say hello. Hi, I found it. Get a focus. Oh, you want to go Freaking into the focus? <laughs> what? <laughs> I said you ought to go into detail, but your camera won't focus. Freaking focus, my god. Let me flip it, maybe that'll help it. It's decided it doesn't want to listen to you. It's decided it wants to duck to it. it. Oh, good for you. Okay, there's three different ways. There's the form there there's Koreans focus a lot on politeness and honorific, which I actually have that on the page as well. So there's usually formal ways to say things and well, informal ways as well. Um actually in South Korea I just read an article. Uh they've just been hit with like um all these like like Asia East Asian countries have been hit with the uh delicacies um known as hamburgers. Oh nice. Like so oh, now they don't there's like people like there's a bunch of how did I say Starbucks uh and stuff like I don't know, I think they already had that but like they're getting more how do I say Americanized. There we go. <laughs> Westernized. So, they're less about that, but I guess in North Korea they still are. But South Korea eh so the formal way would be Anna has to make out, which is kind of the way you're supposed to say the ng sound is almost like you're saying an n sound, but the g is kind of there. Hey, are you planning to go to Korea? No, I have oh. no way to. Well, I am. Oh, well, you're lucky. Take me with you. <laughs> Okay, Wait, then. You said you wanted to spy on North Korea. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to need you to go with me because I don't know any Korean. But I'd be speaking with a more North Korean dialect. Or not North. I'd be speaking with more of a South Korean dialect. So well, I mean, I said I wanted to sneak into North Korea, but still, uh, since South, Korean's more, uh, South Korea is more Americanized, I'll probably spend longer there because I don't want to die. There's even another. There's even a certain way to say hi when you're over when you're on the phone. Oh my gosh! Which no. is you almost say also. No, there's, there's too many highs. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> go high. No, I'm done with high. I'm not gonna. Okay. Do it. I have. How are you? I usually use this top one more than that one. I can see why the bottom one looks so complexer. Mixer, texer, yeah. I would have to put my hand in front of the camera just so it'll focus. Focus. A lot of people do. There we go. So we've pretty much taught them all this that won't help them get very far, but until they can find a translator, they'll probably be able to use it. I have this, and I have like a study schedule right there, which Wait. is important. Wait, do you know how to say, wait, ya-a-ti, ya-a-te, ya-a-te. What? Ya-a-te. What the heck is that? Ya-a-te. I don't know that. <laughs> I saw it at the top of your t paper, so I don't know what it means, so I'm asking you. You didn't see ya-a-te. Yeah, oh. I did. Oh, that's <laughs> Okay, I know what you saw. So there's usually endings that you can put at the end of names, which will be ya and a, e and she. Would you like me to go through those? Yeah. Okay, so ya when you say ya or a at the end of the names, it's usually when you're trying to address them or call them. And ya would go at the end of a name if it ends in a vowel, and a goes if it ends with a consonant. She okay, gotcha. would be when you're trying to show respect. It, you could say their last name and say it after that, or you could say it after their first name. And okay. then e, I heard, shows more affection. Like if you're really, really close with them. Mm -hmm. I also have what siblings are as well. I like how you're to say the siblings. I don't like siblings. Oh. I mean, 
I mean, I don't like mine. <laughs> I mean, it's usually how these are usually used when you're addressing somebody older than you. So when a girl is addressing, so you, for instance, like, Mark. Like if Dina were to talk to Mark, she would call him Opa because that means older brother. And then if it, Zena was a boy, then she would say Hyung, but she's not, so she doesn't say Hyung. Okay, and then. If you have an older sister, you would call her Uni, and if you're a boy and you have an older sister, then you'd call her Nuna. Oh my gosh, so yes. much! I also have no, this no, little no, politeness let's get thing. rid of this. We don't need to be polite. Yes, you do. Why? It's Is important. That- you don't want to come off as rude. We're not going to be talking to like the uh, the guy over the Koreas. Like we're not going to be. Oh, Lightness yeah. is important when you're learning Korean. Fine, fine. Teach us how to be polite. So most, not most things. A lot of things will have these certain endings. And the most polite would have this ending of Hamnida or Nida, which gotcha. is the most formal and the safest to go with if you're not sure if you should yeah, be Yeah, but when you're super duper not. formal, you're like super duper stiff or something. No. Like when you wear one of those big, stiff, like new coats, and then you're just trying to walk in them, it looks like there's something wrong with you. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> And then there's this, there's a more standard form, which is for casual, but kind of polite, which would be hail. Or yeah, hail. I'm going to use that one. <laughs> and then there's the most informal, which should only be said around you. Like, friends or people that are close to your age, usually, or preferably younger than you, which is just hey. But those don't usually, not all words yeah, but usually that's what I know. Those. Like, There's only a select few words and phrases that end with those. That's like in Spanish, <laughs> though, because like you have to have a formal and an informal, and then there's one word for both. So that's like casual, and I can't. I know there's a few other phrases I have in here. I know how to say thank you. There's two different ways I actually have in here. Gracias. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's super long. <laughs> There's two different ways. The one's more like just saying thanks, and then the other one's like full on thank you. Oh, well, let's just stick to the thank you. Forget thanks. We're polite here. (laughs) And then I also have something that I feel like you might want to know, but probably you don't care, which I I have the phrase forget it. That's true. You can tell me either, and I'll still use both. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I had a feeling you would use forget it a lot. Just knowing you and what you usually say, you would probably use forget it a lot. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. There's also, I don't know why, there's two different ways to say you're welcome as well, but one of them's formal. What can I say except you're welcome? You know, if I said that in Korea, it would probably get me killed because I've been using it too much and, well, you know, one extra time might be my last. When you're using she at the end of a name, it can also, usually when you're using it for the last name, it can also mean, like, Mr. or Mrs. He who is she. But I, I say he is who she. Wait. He, wait, no, never mind. I forgot what it is. He is. Wait, she who is. He who is she? There we go. He who is she? That's what yeah, I said. Yeah, but she, as in S S I or S S H I, will technically just be S S I. The S S I. Shit. You write it. <laughs> no, like if you write it, oh. I'll send it. If you write it, it'd be like that. But anytime an S is before an I. Like, if it's S-I, or, like, even if it's a double S and an I, it makes a she sound, like, there's an H there. Gotcha. There's also... I, these confuse me, but there's also other weird things. Like, if you have two different vowels like that, it would be, like, a W at the beginning, but... Or, that's how you'd write it, with 
English letters. It's more of a key like to a me. Sound. It's more of a key to me. Or, or you know, like that green hat that. from Legend of Zelda, the one that was actually alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like it could be whoa or way. Oh, it's oh, and if you turn way. it sideways, it's also like that uh Super Mario Sunshine thing. Like I the backpack know, thing. I don't know so cute. Oh yeah, dudes! I can just imagine this. Uh, this uh, this stream is lit. Yeah, I don't know what to teach. Weren't you gonna do something? Um, what should I do? I don't know. You said you were gonna like animating something. Oh, trust me, I will. When I edit it, of course. Uh, Plus, my commentary is so magical. It's only the once in a lifetime chance to hear my commentary. <laughs> So what do we do now? I'm done teaching. Uh, I see you typing. What are you trying to send me? I know what I can. This commentary. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it is. It is time for outro, and so you say your channel's outro, and I'll say my I channel's have outro. An outro. We'll make one up on the spot now. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, uh, see you, ladies and lads. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>